Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for the Skin Care Tuesday. Today we are going to be talking all about the Neogen Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser. So before I get started and demo and give you a review of this mask, don't forget to enter my back to school giveaway. It's a makeup giveaway, of course. You can click right here to see what products are in there and I'll leave a link below for you to enter it. And I hope that you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started. So this is the Neogen Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser. Let me show it to you up close. You can get this at SoCo Glam for $27. It, that is an online retailer site. You cannot pick it up at Amazon. Um, Neogen a lot of times doesn't have their products on Amazon, but SoCo Glam does carry them. SoCo Glam is a website that is very... Um, picky in what they carry so I've never gotten a product from there that I didn't like I was lucky enough to pick up this when it was a buy one get one free sale so I picked up two of them and I had heard really good reviews so I wanted to give it a try I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo of it and show you how it works and then give you a review of what I think of it and how I like let's it. let's go ahead and get started with the demo so my skin is nice and clean now so we're gonna go ahead and put the mask on I do recommend keeping the part of the box that has the instructions on it because the instructions on this are in Korean Korean Korea Korean uh, so you probably aren't gonna be able to read that <laughs> And I always forget, because I have so many different masks, which ones I apply on wet skin and dry skin. So that's why I like to refer back to this. And this one is on dry skin. And you put it on with dry skin. And after five minutes, you massage the product into your skin and rinse off with lukewarm water. So let me just show you guys what this is like. So it comes with a little plastic cap on. And that just seals in the moisture so it doesn't dry out. It is kind of hard to get off. And then also in here is there's a little um, like cloth and I think that just helps to seal in that moisture as well. And there is what the product looks like. I don't know, I've used it quite a few times yeah. as a six month, um, you know, like expiration on it. I, we'll have to see how long it lasts for. All right, so I get, I like to get uh, how much I'm going to need because you've got to work kind of fast with getting it on your skin. And once you put it on a place on your skin, I don't like to mess with it. I tried to do that the first time I used it and the bubbling process starts pretty quick, like the carbonating process of it. So you don't really want to mess around too much with it. And I find that a thin layer works just well, just well. I find that a thin layer really works just fine with it. Sometimes if you get it too thick on there, it is hard to um, massage around after the five minutes are over. And I'm putting this on with my viewfinder and it's really hard because it's opposite. <laughs> what I see is opposite to what I'm actually doing. So like this really is already bubbling. So it's kind of hard. I can feel it kind of foaming. So it's hard to put anything else on top of it. And then I like to get like right under my chin because I will get um, breakouts there sometimes. So it just helps to clean those pores out. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. See, so if I start to try to take, or so if I start to try to put it on here, it's really gonna end up taking off what is already on there. So once you put it on there, just leave it alone. So I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes, but once I start to hear bubbling, I'm gonna come in close so you guys can hear the bubbling noise of it as well. So you could really kind of see it around the nose. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not, but um, it's really, some of the places I can tell that I got a too thick of layer on. So you really can just put a very thin layer on it. 
Um, in about five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and massage the product into my skin. Yeah, like I can tell this was way too thick right here and some parts over here I just had too much on my cheek. So it's a lot harder to massage it in and honestly it's going to be a lot harder to rinse it off. This is not the super easiest mask to rinse off, um, but you just kind of have to keep at it because it does take a while to rinse it off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse right, it off. So you can see it is really hard to get off from around the hairline. So I do take my cleansing toner, the Aquel 5.5. Um, if you see my video, you know I have it in a little older squirt bottle to just help get the rest of that away because it's really hard. This would actually be a really good one to use right before you're gonna shower because then you wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, but this one gets anything that's left over away pretty easily. That is the Neogen Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser. I don't really know all the scientific information behind the Canadian Clay, but I do know this is one of my favorite face masks. Neogen also makes those um, biogauze peeling pads that I have in the wine and they make lemon and green tea. That's one of my favorite products too. And they seem to be very ahead in their innovative skincare products. But what I do know about this product is it is one of my favorite masks to use. And if I have let it go for a little while and use it and I've got like some clogged pores in here because I'll get those um, occasionally I will see and feel a noticeable difference after I use this Canadian clay uh, mask. So I highly recommend this mask. I will link it down below so you can check it out before you leave. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!